Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Riley. I am a licensed cosmetologist in California and today I am back in the salon to show you guys my favorite salon products. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video on my channel of salon must-have tools and I got a request on that video to do salon must-have products. So today that is exactly what I'm doing. This video is gonna include my favorite hair styling products, my favorite bleaches, toners, and toner combinations. I have so much stuff to show you guys, so let's just get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna be talking about styling products. So the first item has been my holy grail for years now. I actually found out about this from the girl who does my hair, and this is the Kenra Blow Dry Spray. This is amazing. It's a heat protectant and an advanced dry thermal spray. It's smells like Hawaii. You can use it on wet or dry hair. So moisturizing for blondes. So if you have not tried this and you're a client or a stylist, you need to go pick this up. It is life-changing. If you're a client, they sell it at Ulta. And if you are a stylist, they sell it at Cosmoprof. Just a warning, my next few products are also going to be Kenra because I'm literally just obsessed at this point. So my next product is the Kenra Luxe One Leave-In All-in-One Miracle Spray. And I would say this is like an it's a 10 on steroids. I still really love my it's a 10 that will always be one of my favorites But this one it says it's gold and rich It kind of does give like a sparkly sheen when you put it on your skin It is almost like a lotiony base. So it's just really super moisturizing Most of my clients are blonde and this is like the perfect heaviness, but not too heavy but super moisturizing So this has been my go-to lately and then to go along with that I have the Kenra Lux oil shine and this is also gold and rich it literally has sparkles in it when you put it on your hand. I've been putting this oil in my hair and my client's hair. It has worked so so well on my extensions. It's not too heavy. A lot of oils are really thick and greasy, especially for extensions. It's really gonna put moisture back in your hair. I think the Lux line is somewhat new at Cosmoprof, so definitely go try it and pick those up. The next product that I have been absolutely loving lately is the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. Now, I have super flat hair, as you can see, and a lot of my clients love that beachy, bouncy, wavy hair. When I use this in my hair, it gives me all the texture, all the volume. Probably I just noticed I just used it. <laughs> My clients absolutely love the smell of this one. This one is a really good finisher in the salon when your clients don't want hairspray, but they want a little something to give them some volume and some hold. I would totally recommend this IGK Beach Club Volumizing Spray. My next favorite is probably pretty predictable and it is Olaplex. I love anything Olaplex. I love their number two for the aftercare in the salon. I love the shampoo and conditioner. I don't think I'll ever use anything different. This one is the number six, the Bond Smoother. So good a little bit goes a long way it's a leave-in so you're gonna want to put it on wet hair it makes your hair so silky and so smooth okay and my last styling product is a little bit different it's more of a back bar necessity and also the bottles really dirty so don't mind that this is the Wella color post treatment and if you have never tried this or ever smelt it you need to everything you'd want in your hair that's what it smells like so I use this on my foliage client when I tease their hair and it's really tangled in the shampoo bowl. I'll go in, I'll shampoo, and then I put a little bit of this in their hair, and then I brush it out. The texture of this is like a very, very thick conditioner. It's going to be really silky, really smooth. It makes your hair feel unbelievable, and clients love the smell. If you guys have styling products that you swear by, leave them down below, because styling is one of my favorite parts of the service. I love trying new things, and if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Okay, so next we're gonna be talking about lightener. I mainly use two different types of lightener. I've talked about it in videos before. I'll have a video down below talking about the bleaches I use and why I use them. The first bleach that I love and I swear by at this point is the Wella Blondeur. I use this for my highlight clients. The reason I like this is it is the perfect consistency for me. It never fails. You can get super close to that root line and it will not swell. It doesn't get thick. Another thing that I like about it is it has amazing lift. It does lift a little bit slower in comparison to my other bleach. So I kind of have to remember to use a higher developer just to get it to work a little faster. Like I said, this has been one of my favorites for about a year now, and I honestly have no desire to switch. I just absolutely love it. My second lightener that I also 
also swear by is the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. This stuff is like no other bleach on the market. It is strong, it works fast, it is seriously amazing. This is what I use on my foliage and my balayage clients. I don't put this close to the scalp because it will swell if it gets too much heat. I also definitely do not put this under heat. That would not be good. If you have never tried those two lighteners before, they are amazing. Like I said, I use Wella for highlights and Schwarzkopf for balayage. Next, I'm going to be talking about toning. As you guys know, I use Redken Shades EQ for my toners. And of course, I use their processing solution. And that is the next thing I'm going to be talking about. Yes, I use both the gel and the liquid. But if you guys have never tried the gel before, you have to. It is essentially the same thing. This one is just a thicker consistency. This one is perfect for rooting. For shadow rooting, for root melting, even for low lights, this is going to be what you want to use. If you use the liquid when shadow rooting, I find that it drips, it drags down too far. So if you've never used the gel, get on it. It's amazing. I will never go back. Next, we're talking about toners and toner formulations, which I know is probably what you guys came here for. My absolute favorite root melt formula is 6N and 6NB. Your 6N is going to be your natural neutral. It's going to be your blue violet. The N series is going to be the closest thing you could probably find to their natural if they're just like a flat color. So I like to use the 6N, which is going to be a super natural brown with the 6NB, which is going to be a red violet. The reason I like to use a red violet, which honestly sounds really scary, is because when I am doing a balayage and I'm going to root melt after, I lifted them to probably a level 9 or 10. And if they want to root melt, I'm going to have to touch that level 9 hair, which means if I were to take a level 9 and throw a level 6 on it, probably going to turn murky and green because you're dropping down so many levels without filling the hair. So your red is going to fill the hair and the violet is going to deposit, making it ashy. So this combination is like the perfect ashy brown, beautiful root melt color. The next toner formulation I wanted to talk about is one of my favorite bronze tones. I'm actually going to put a client that I just used it on right here, and that is the 8GI and the 9NB. The GI stands for gold iridescent. It is a gold violet, and honestly, it's pretty close to a neutral, but it does have a little bit more gold in it. It does have a little kick of gold in it. It does get pretty ashy when you're using it on lighter colors, which is why I threw it in with an NB. The NB is the red violet. It's going to give you a little bit of that warmth, but also the ash. It is going to be so beautiful. Now, the next few toners I have are just my favorites in general. They're not necessarily combinations of any sort, but you could mix them if you wanted to. Of course, the one I use the most is 9V. I absolutely love the 9V. It is just straight level 9 violet. Pretty much use a swash of this on everyone. If you want to counteract yellow, that's your girl. Another one of my favorites is the 10P. He stands for pearl. It is a blue violet. The 10P is not quite super pigmented, which is what I really like about it because it's not going to turn the client dark. If you're putting a blue violet on a level nine hair, it can get really dark because it is depositing blue. So when doing the level 10, perfect, ashy, but not too dark, it's really not gonna dole out your blondes, which is what I love about it. Another one I love is the 9VG and the 10VG. These are violet gold. So it is the exact opposite of the GI. It is not a gold violet, it's a violet gold, which means it has more violet than gold in it. I've definitely still used these on people who wanna be a little bit warmer and it is way too ashy to consider it warm but it makes the beautiful brightest blonde because it has that gold in it it's going to prevent it from getting that murky too ashy of a color the gold is what's gonna make it look really bright i hope you guys enjoyed my favorite products that i use in the salon i'm constantly trying new products all the time so i'm sure i'll make another one of these videos in the next few months if you guys have any products you want to share it down below that you're loving please let me know because like i said i like to try new things all the time and don't forget to follow me on instagram thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys